Hello engineer, welcome back to this channel, Smart Cable Discovery Science. Today I'm going to show you how to design APCB boards into a protest profession. So if you are the first time to see your channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. So first, you need to have a protest profession. So for me, I have, I have this application. This application is very simple to use for designing your PCB boards. So today I'm going to show you a simple circuiting on designing the PCB boards into a protest profession. So you can do a lot of things using this application. You can simulate your circuit, you can design your PCB boards and more and more. So first, if you have already this application, and if you don't have this application, check the link into the description or search into Google. For previous profession or join us into our telegram channel you'll see a link to download this application so this it founds as follows when you are already installing this application so for, for today we are dealing with uh, designing or a PCB boat so let's get started with this so on this bar you'll see is a lot so for this is new new projects and this is open projects so this is safe projects and this is closed projects and this is a home page and this is schematic capture also PCB layout and this is 3D visualizer so we are dealing with these three parts so we are dealing with this uh, schematic capture PCB layouts and this uh, 3D visualizer so when you are starting designing your system or your circuit so this is the first part when designing the circuit so you need to create your circuit into this schematic capture and this schematic capture will do a lot of things or designing and some writing this your circuit into this part and this part PCB layout so you are going to relate a uh, PCB for your circuit you are or that you already designed so for, for for now let's get started with this schematic capture and then you will get uh when you open this schematic capture we'll see this part so this is the part for designing this so you can increase if your circuit is large you can increase the size by going into this uh, system and going to sheet size so you can set your your sheet size according to your circuit. So if your circuit is greater, you can increase. Yeah. So my circuit is very small, so I can use only this for user. So now you are going to the next step is to pick the component. So you you need to pick the devices that you are going to the component for your circuit. So and get with so after picking all the devices you will see on this part so this is the side for your component that you are going to use so it started with this timer So for now, our system is ready. So on this process, you can simulate if it's mainly on this. So if you need to create your PCB boards, so you need to add a, you need to add the connector for your power supply. So let's pick the power. Now, uh, the next step is to see if all this is uh, layout. So double click on this and go into packing packaging tools. So see this layout. So for this 55 timer, it's uh, this. So let's see 
also on connector yes you already also already see on this already yes you already let's see on this potentiometer yes it's found then click on this uh, capacitor also so to change the value of this click this will be uh, 1000 this will be 10 and this will be all men and this so if you uh, pick a device that you have no display layout so restricts for this ready I'm going to use another ready for example I use this blue and when you press on this part and click on packaging these tools you will see no packaging available for preview <coughs> so and when you go into this PCB layout you will see so let's click on this PCB layout the second step is to on this uh, so let make connection and check it for this uh, LED and go into this so we see this uh, LED blue not found so not, not packaging so to package this you need to go into this schematic capture and right click on this and go into packaging tools then click and then add now you can light ready and choose you are ready how to be so you can choose if you are ready is uh, surface mounted or through hole so this is through hole and this is for surface mounted um, I, I, I like this to, to use uh, slay hole so click and then click OK. Now click on this first and then click A. Also click no. Click on this part and then click A and then click OK. Now you can save it. So this is your ready have uh, this video layout. So as you see. So this not part will be of our of our circuit. So I have to show you how you can give a component a PCB layout so now go into this PCB layout so we'll see on this layout we'll see, we'll see this uh, you'll see this so we need to add your PCB boards with a full of cop so click on this uh, 2D graphic box modes then click and then change this top slick into a board edge then click and draw your board edge so this will be my board edge and when you see on the said part on this slightly visualizer you will see this board so now go back into this PCB layout and then add your component to this part There are two ways of adding component to this. The first is go into tools and the auto presser. So click auto presser, you will see your component. So mark all and then click. Okay, you will see the component being pressed through this part. So I don't like to use this auto presser. I can delete. So I can add one by one component through this. So I can click on this and then add. Yeah. So when you go into this LED visualizer, you see the component that have been pressed through this side so now the next step you can light so let's move up to here and you see yeah very amazing so I can light my name I can light name on this side so I can use a top silk 
so I can light this side SMD, Smart Gimbal, Discover, Sans. Okay, press. Now I can edit. Let's edit and change now to this. And this be 40. Click OK. Now we'll see this system day. And when you go into this LED visualizer, we'll see this system day. As you see. Yeah, so it looks very amazing. So, the another step is for making routing. So, this the layout of where you can load this track. You can use this track mode to track from this. So, as you see, you see this little mode. So this is for making a trace in the VS. So, there are another way to do instead of using this, you can use this auto routing. So, before auto router, the first, the first step you need to design level manage. So, click on this design level manage and then net classes, and then change this default to the power. So, the power and change this side top copper into a button copper. And then I can change this stress side stripe. I can use this. I can change this. Also, can change for the signal also signal I can change also into this copper so I can use uh, 50 and then I can change you can light according to your circuit you can use any of this depending for what you need so then click okay now go into this auto presser auto router so click on this auto router and start loading begin loading so we'll see it loading as is as you see on this screen so just wait until it is done so if you like this video click the yeah, like button and subscribe for more tutorials so now as you see there are two missing so you see this missing the missing is from this up to this and this up to this so you can start out routing again and click is begin routing for finding another way we are doing this in order to finding another way for the software we find another loop another way that will solve this two miss missing so just wait until it is done Yes, still it remains with this. So let's go change into this. Power, let's change, decrease at 5. And this 20. And use also 20. And signal. Also, side. Then create your game and then start the routing. Now, our, our system, our circuit is lady for PSB. As you see, no SRL and no DRSR, DRRC errors. So, you can check this through this technology. Now, you can check. Uh, can check uh, your system through automatic no you can check through this output and then no this we found this we found no it's found in not five Yes, it points on output, then click into this pre-production check. So when you click this in LAN, you are you will see pre-production check ends no errors, zero, zero warning, zero Friday, zero skip day, and 
18 pass day so you see test zone overlap pass no overlap detected so you see so th this this circuit is read now to create your own PCB and when you see into this LED visualizer it look like this and this is a way so now as you see it look like this you can see you can remove the all component and see Component, yeah, it look like this. So this is lady. So this is a uh, RD, and this is capacitor. This is five five timer, and this is for power supply connector, and this is variable or potentiometer. We are varying this, and this is a resistor, as you see. So this is a resistor. So now the system is ready. So if we need this to get this PDF file, so if we need this, to, if we need this PDF file for done on etching, so we need to click on this, uh, click on this file and go into export. Uh, let's see, import not. Click on this, uh, yes. Click on this output and export graphic, and then find your PDF file. Now, mark all and remove this top select. So let's change the PDF. I can. I need to change this PDF into a desktop. So I can click this big board. Speedball and click OK. Now click OK. So wait. If we really save, you will see this. It's open out to my scale as you see. So if you are doing a uh, etching, so this would be easy, easy for you to design your PCB boards at your homes and create a lot of projects through a PCB. So this is the progress profession. So if you don't have this application, join us into our Telegram channel. You'll see a lot of projects, a lot of link to download and use it at your place or at your home. So thanks for this tutorial. And if you have any suggestion, leave it into a comment section. I will see and I will play you soon as possible. And if you like this video, share with your friends for more learning. Thanks for today and welcome to the another tutorial. Thanks, this is Smart Gamble, Discover Sun, the home of creativity.